welcome to the testing world now in this session we are going to understand most important keyword which is scenario outline so first of all we will understand what is the use of this scenario outline keyword and then we will see how we can write this in feature file so sometimes we need to run our test case with the multiple data when we want to execute our test case with the multiple data then on the place of scenario we have to go for the keyword scenario outline so this approach is called data driven approach we are going to execute same test case with multiple data multiple inputs and these inputs will pass from the feature file so when you want to implement data driven scenario with the multiple inputs in that case on place of scenario keyword we have to use scenario outline keyword i'm moving to my feature file so here i want to convert this test case so this test case is login by customer here i'm going to test login by customer i have multiple customers i want i want to execute this test case with the multiple customer data so here steps are when user enter username what username you want to enter so whenever you want to implement test case with the multiple data on place of scenario keyword we are going to use scenario outline keyword so i mention scenario outline over here i'm going to write this test case for the multiple data so first of all keyword we are going to use scenario outline and then name of the scenario given i have placed in the background means that is a common given i'm starting with the when when user enter username what username you want to use so we have to write in this bracket i want to pass username here and user enter password what password you want to pass so that is password and user click on sign in button then user should be logged in successfully the test case i have defined with the scenario outline keyword here we are going to pass data so whenever you are using scenario outline we have to define the data as well to define data we have to use one more keyword which is example so example colon first of all we have to give header name so we have to create a table over here table is started with the pipe header name is this so first column is username because i want to pass first data is username then again pipe second data i want to pass is password so i copy this password now that is the header row here i want to pass first data so my first data is first username is testing and password is abc at the rate 123 second username i want to use testing 1 and password i want to use abc at the rate 1234 a second row ended in the same way we can define any number of rows so third day time defining testing 2 and then abc at the rate 1 2 3 4 5 so here you can see we are using multiple keywords one is scenario outline with the help of scenario outline we can implement data driven scenarios means data driven test cases whatever the data you want to pass you have to write in this way these are the header name as well so copy this go to the example example means where we are defining the data header name should be same as we have defined over here first row is always the header row from second row onwards we can define any number of data which we want to pass 
So now we have defined three data. Automatically, this test case will be called three times with three different data. So that is scenario outline. While working with scenario outline, it is mandatory to define example because if you are not defining the data, this test case will not execute. Keep remember first row always a header and to define a table, we are going to use this pipe symbol. So here we have seen scenario outline and how to implement the scenario outline. So I have shown you we are defined the variables in this way and then with the example we are going for the data. We are creating the data table. Example keyword is always used with the scenario outline. So it's always followed by the scenario outline. Table must have a header row corresponding to the variable in the scenario. So whatever the variables we have used in the scenario, here you can use it, username and password. Same name we have to given here in the header. We have seen how we can define the data table. So data table will be started by the header and started with the pipe, then between the column pipe and at the end pipe symbol. So these are the pipe symbol by which we are defining the data table. This data table is going to be used with example and example is going to be used with the scenario outline. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.